Sorry. Am I bothering you? I'll, I'll try to be more quiet. Those... Those things dragged my mother away. I don't know what happened to her, but I hear her screaming all the time. Everywhere. How terrible, you poor thing. I wish there was something we could do to help. And now my brother Bevan, he, he ran off. I, I don't know where he is. I'm so scared they got him too. He said something about saving mother. He's just a little boy. He doesn't understand she's gone. Grief can make us do many things that don't make any sense, I'm afraid. I hope he didn't try to go to the castle. Oh, that would be awful. I went to her house. It's by the square. He wasn't there. I searched the rest of the village, too. I called and I called, but he never answered. I, I wonder if he ran off into the woods. I'm so worried. Without me, he has nobody. I, I have nothing. Everything we owned is in our house. If you found my brother, I would be eternally grateful. Oh, please, couldn't you look for him? I'm begging you. I would do anything, sir. If you found Bevan, I would. I thought he'd be at home, but he never came when I called him. If he doesn't come back tonight, I... I'm just so afraid for him. Think it's something in the water? You know, we don't have the men we need. Their numbers just keep growing each night. Well, sure, they take the dead and they, you know. I don't want to think about that. I guess this might be the last night after all. The king isn't coming. Nobody is. So what can we do? Leave? Try to get out of the village? And abandon everyone? No, we fight. We've no other choice. Still no sign of them coming back from the castle, Murdoch. Tell them to maintain watch. I don't want a surprise attack before the sun goes down. Yes, sir. What should we do until then? Pray, and hope for a miracle. This isn't your home. Young man, come out this instant. I... Yes, ma'am. All right. I came out. You won't hurt me. Will you? I'll go back to the Chantry if you really want. It's Bevan. My... My sister is Caitlin. She's probably at the Chantry looking for me. I... I can't tell you. It's a secret. You could. All right, I guess. I just... Father said I could have his sword when I grew up. It was Grandfather's. And Grandfather was a great dragon slayer. I thought... If I was brave like Grandfather, I could use his sword and kill the bad people who took Mother. In the chest, in Mother's room, Father gave me a key, but I'm not supposed to give it to anyone. But I can't give it to you. It... As fathers, Caitlin would be so mad if I did. You could? Maybe you could give my sister money? She said if we had money, we'd be all right, even if mother is dead. Oh, all right, here's the key. I hope you use it to kill a lot of those bad people. 
I should go back to the Chantry. Good luck. It is begun. Well. Very well. I'll do it. It is begun. Wonderful. Intruders. I hope you have a good reason for breaking and entering into my home. You know what? In the interest of keeping my face from bursting into flame, I think I will. The name's Dwin. Pleased to meet you. Now, kindly tell me why you're here. Surviving. We have supplies to last for quite some time. And my boys and I can swing a weapon better than any of those fools out there. Thanks. But I'll take my chances in here. Everyone else can run around in the open waiting to die. So, that's what it comes down to, huh? <laughs> Fine. I'll go. If you want me out there so badly. Don't thank me. I'm not doing this for you. I'm doing this because of you. Go tell Murdoch he won. And I better see you out there in the square when those creatures come. Heaven said you were the one who found him. I can't possibly repay you. 
You're very sweet. I... I suppose there's no harm in it. How noble. I... oh my... Stay... stay safe tonight. And good luck. 